I'll never understand the new technology these days. See my young grandson was over for a visit. I was upstairs in the study reading a book on backgammon. I yelled down to my wife Gail. There? What time's Cairo starting tonight? She said not sure. Maybe young Sebastian can tell us. I said, don't be silly. Sebastian doesn't watch Coronation Street. He probably watches keen skateboarders or rap artists on music television. And as I was saying this, young Sebastian calls out, 7.30, Grandad. Boy, was I taken aback. Turns out he had had his portable laptop computer device. And with something called the World Wide Web, all this information is right at his fingertips. So I went right out the next day to Dick Smith Electronics, and I talked to a marvellous young gentleman about computers of all things. Now, I can tell he knew I wouldn't know a keyboard from my elbow, but he explained things very well. Oh, he was just marvellous. So before I knew it, I was setting up a compact Passario, with a lot of help from my grandson, of course, in my very own home. Well, I left to put the kettle on. Would you believe it? I got back and young Sebastian had changed the picture on the screen. I said, oh, is that a guana? He said, no, Grandad. That's a rock. I put my glasses on and I agreed it was a rock. But it really did look like a lizard. Well, actually, that's all by the by. But I got onto the internet after some trouble. I was completely lost. Dub dub dubs and dot coms. This wasn't any language I had seen. And I've been to Mongolia. First thing I wanted to do was have a look at the National Weather Report. The fierce curling tournament was next week. And I wouldn't want old Jim O'Loughlin to think he could get out of another thrashing on account of the weather. Sebastian showed me to a search engine. I said, that doesn't look like an engine. I typed in weather report. And I had reports on fog, hail, snow, tornadoes from all over the world. Now I'm in lovely New Zealand. Why do they think I want to know what the weather's going to be like in Beirut? Well, after some time, I found a page for New Zealand. Turns out Jim O'Loughlin was out of luck. He was in for a thriller of a curling day. But only moments later, what I was doing disappeared. And an advertisement for university came up. Now, Sebastian had gone home at this stage. So I yelled, Gail, the computer's telling me to go to university. She said, Herbert, the only degree you're getting is a master's in doing the dishes. Oh, how we laughed. I clicked around, but to no avail. More pages just kept coming at me. Young Sebastian told me if I got into a bit of bother, press the reset button. So I decided this was beyond me. I clicked the reset button, and the bloody thing turned off. After a few moments, it turned itself back on again, and came up with a raft of mumbo jumbo. Once it had settled down, I had no weather at all. Just that dastardly rock-shaped iguana staring at me. Now, I'm a man of many talents, but I tell you me, computer skills is not one of them. I remember working in the old print house in Timaru. I manned some large machinery to get that newspaper out on time. And I can tell you, what we had to go through was a hell of a lot easier than trying to get the new blasted news to show up on these computers. So the next day, went back to that fine gentleman and said, Sorry son, computers aren't for me.